Okay, and welcome back everyone to the channel. Thank you so much for being here, for joining me on this particular journey that we are taking upon this Halloween season. Let's move on into the next track here, ending side one of the album, which is going to be The System of Dr. Tar and Professor Feather. So I will say that this is, uh, I'm assuming that this is also based on Edgar Allan Poe and stuff. Uh, this I'm not familiar with. I do not know the backstory behind this story or anything like that. Uh, you know, as opposed to the other tracks, which I am familiar with. Uh, so this will be kind of, kind of completely new territory for me. So let's go ahead and dive on in. I'm going to let the last few seconds of um, of cask play. And then because those those crowd sounds were leading into it, which, by the way, I love how the crowd sounds begin to die down. Let's go ahead and let it lead into it. And we will talk about it after. comes around it hits so well
Man. <laughs> this this album's really, really, really good. Um, where do we even start with that one? Just the the straightforward, once again, heavy step in drive, funk, and groove that the music provides with a little bit of the, like a sizzling guitar on top of it. I really enjoy that lead just to melodically excite us and bring us in. But it's that bum, 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 that walking the bass down the street. Come on. You know what would be a really great music video? Like for a, a bass, a bassist, like having an amplifier like hooked up to you, like carrying it on your back and then just walking down a city street, busting out the funkiest of funk. You're like, I don't know, this is just me. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, this song is so good. Once again, you have John Miles on the on the vocals here and providing some electric guitar as well. Wonderful. I love every time at the end of the chorus how um, it, it, the music kind of breaks away, leaving him to get, get out that last note, those last few words, and then it's just so exciting. And then the way that it trans transitions back into that funk, how can you deny it? The synths that come in, especially on the back half of the track, first you have some organ, then it sounds like some almost vocoded synth. I don't think it's a vocoder, but it's almost vocoder-esque in its sound. And then you have those little, I think, arpeggios, right? The right, aren't those arpeggios? Anyways, but like, it's just this, this like the rest of the album, it's this, this strong groove with all these things wrapped around it that feel, feel so good. Uh, on the bass on this particular track, I would like to know. I, I like to know who the bassist is. That's like, <laughs> that's where my mind goes to first. Um, mm -mm -mm. I'm looking. Um, I'm I'm looking. I sure am. It's not Puerta. Is it Les Hurdle on this track? I don't think so. No. No, it's Dave Patton. Okay, I got. I found it. I, something takes me a while, but I found it. So you got Dave Patton on the bass on this particular track. He is... Uh, worked with Kate Bush, Camel, Elton John, I don't know why I did the rock sim, <laughs> and, uh, and many others, but those are the ones that I see that at least stand out to me here. Um, Keats, Rick Wakeman, okay, so worked with them as well. Uh, Fish, and um, some other people there that I'm not quite sure of. Anyways, like I said, this story I am not familiar with, so let's go ahead and look at the lyrics first, and then we'll dive into the story, see if I can parse it out. Get it, parse, parse it. Just what you need to make you feel better. Just what you need to make you feel better. At the end of your tether and your thoughts won't fit together. So you sleep light or whatever. And the night goes on forever. Then you change your, then your mind change like the weather. You're in need of Dr. Tar and Professor Feather. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm assuming that maybe they're not real doctors. But if they are, their names are alluding to a little bit of... First of all, it's tar, being tarred and feathered is more painful than I think movies and and cartoons and stuff have like led us to believe you know putting hot oil on you and then feathering you that's that's not a good time so i imagine that they're maybe experimenting on this particular person that's suffering from insomnia it seems like and maybe their methods are a little bit unorthodox uh even clouds seem bright and breezy because the living is free and easy see the rat race in a new way like you're waking up to a new day. It's a wise thing if you're clever. Take a lead from Dr. Tar and Professor Feather. Find the end of a rainbow. Fly wherever the winds blow. Laugh at, at life like a sideshow. Just what you need to make you feel better. Satisfaction altogether guaranteed by Tar and Feather. Uh, yeah, I, I think that they're just experimenting on people. Um, I don't know if the people are volunteering for, for this uh, or not. But that's at least what I'm kind of gathering from this. Now let's look at the actual... Uh, story here. It says this is a dark comedy short story, of course, by Edgar Allan Poe. The story centers on a naive and unnamed narrator's visit to a mental asylum in the southern provinces of France. Okay, so he's he's going to this mental asylum. Uh, to, I, I, now, is he going there for treatment? Is he just going there to like check things out? Is he doing like a documentary? Uh, I don't know, but sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the track. Finishing this side of the album, moving on into the second side, which is going to have an epic in there. Hope you guys are around for it. Of course, you can let me know your thoughts on this particular track in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter, support the channel, Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day, <laughs> and I will see you all later. Bye.